Hi, I'm Ash from Able12.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a script that will count down to a download, just like the countdown from the Able12 website. So, first of all, if we go into Dreamweaver, I have three files set up here: an index.php, a download.php, and a downloadcomplete.php. Um, they're all just the blank pages what you get from when you go onto a new document through Dreamweaver. Um, so to begin on index.php and um, basically this is where you will get your files from the database, the directory, whatever. So basically you should have something like a while loop or something or other that will list all the um, the files. So basically you might have something so if we just open up some PHP tags first of all, you might have something that looks like um, file equals row uh, file or something like that. But for now I'm just going to put a string into this. Um, so I'm just going to put um, my word document dot, dot x. Uh, so basically it's just the um, the name and with the extension of the the file so if you look in my structure over here I have um, a JS folder also with the jQuery.js file located in there so you're going to need jQuery um, and in uploads um, which where you should have all your files are in some folder um, I've just got a my word document dot doc x in there, so that's why I've put just a string there. Um, but basically, that should be in your database or or whatever you'll get it through as a string. So that's why I've just put it there, just for the purpose of this. I'm not actually going to get any files. I'm just going to leave it simple. Um, so what we're going to do is just in the body of this. Um, so just under here, I'm just going to create a link here and the link is going to be once again you could probably put PHP in here to echo um, the file I suppose and then I'm just going to do the same here put it as the link but before the PHP tags I'm going to put that to download.php um, question mark file equals so now if I save this out and view this in the browser you've got my word document doc x here hover over and it goes to download.php if you look down the bottom um, at the link location it goes to download.php and um, the file is now equal to my word document doc x and um, so you should get something like that roughly about something similar and um, so now what I'm going to do is go into download.php and in here just under the body first thing we're going to do is get the, the file just dollar underscore get um, the file right, so we've got the file next we're going to do is to so we've got the name of the file so now we can get in some of the um, the javascript files so text for slash javascript and the source is js forward slash jquery dot js and then we can end the script off there um, now usually I put in javascript files javascript code in another file but for this tutorial, because well for this script actually we need to put PHP into the JavaScript code, so that's why I'm going to be doing the script on this page and not in an external file. So script type type text follows slash JavaScript and then we can just end the script off there and put in the JavaScript code here. So first of all, um, I'm going to create a variable called number and that is going to be equal to how many seconds you want to start from. 
so um, so 10 seconds just something like that you could probably change number to seconds or something I'm just trying to leave it as a number for now so basically put in here how many seconds you want to start from the countdown so that'll take 10 seconds going down um, next we're going to create another variable called URL and this is equal to uh, basically the location of where the file is actually um, no sorry this is the next file so if we just get in here copy this link here the current directory paste it into there and then put on download complete.php um, and then we're going to this way we're going to now put in file equals open some php tags um, and then echo file in there so that's basically a link going to download complete the PHP passing through again the the file that the user wishes to download okay so that's going to download complete bear in mind that you do need the full URL in JavaScript not just that okay so you need the full one from the HTTP right from the start if you're on a web server you don't need the home www public underscore html stuff like that. you don't need that just put in your um, domain like that but it has to be you know from the the root directory basically right so now what we can do is create um, a just a function called countdown or whatever you want to call it um, I'm, I'm just going to put in here set time out uh, okay and that's going to be countdown so 10 seconds and the delay um, is going to be one second between each which um, you know it's going to be one second going down each obviously we don't want it to go from if you put 2000 it's going to go from 10 8 etc um, stuff like that so that's just the one second um, so now what I'm going to do is in here create um, time. We also need, I forgot to mention, under this script we need to put a div ID or you can use a span or whatever as long as it has an ID. I'm just going to put in time there. So div ID time dot html and in what we're going to put into that div is something along the lines of your download will be read in then put a space then after that put plus number plus space seconds okay if you don't just put that like that and then remember to finish it off there okay um, and then we're going to put number minus minus which will take um, one off the number each time so as it's going down the number is going to be changing from 10 to 9 to 8 etc and so then we're going to put if if number is less than zero we don't because this will carry on going down into the minus we don't want it to go into minus, we want it to stop at zero. So basically what we can put in here is if number um sorry if number is less than zero window dot location is equal to URL um, so that'll redirect the user to that URL variable we created before. But what we need to do before that is actually um reset the number to zero now. So number will now be set to zero and not go anywhere else. Okay, so then after we've done that, we can come out of the function and then just call the function countdown. So if so, we can um, we've we've called it basically, so it will now run. Um, so now what we can do is onto download complete .php. Uh, basically this is just a simple page once again um, above 
any of the code so right at the top because we're going to actually be editing the head tags now so file once again is equal to don't go get file okay and then in the head tags we're going to create a, a HTML redirect so meta HTTP dash queer uh, that's going to be equal to fresh okay and the oops sorry the content will be how many seconds um you want it to wait before it will redirect so we're just going to put one second on there just to give it um a slight delay so it doesn't open up instantly as soon as you enter the page you've got time to read um, what we're going to put in the body tags in a second so and then a semicolon and then basically put this URL once again into there okay and then put the uploads directory and then php echo file okay and that will basically now redirect the user to the download file and the download will begin and um, so now what I want to do is in the body tags I'm going to put something like um, actually, thank you for downloading and then in PHP tags I'm just going to put echo file so let's say thank you for down downloading my word document dot doc x so that should be the script done so if we come back out and test this if I refresh if I click on this um, as you see your download will be ready in 8, 7, 6 times going down and once it hits 0 it will get redirected to download complete.php thank you for downloading my word document and as you can see um, the dialog box has come up here um, for my word document dot dot x and then they can open save whatever so that's basically how to create a download script that will count down to a download um, so thanks for watching and I will see you in another tutorial